Hey everyone, it's Daxani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm drawing my younger brother as his favorite character from Overwatch, which I'm sure most of you know what it is. But just in case you don't know what Overwatch is, it's a video game that requires team effort that you can play on the PlayStation 4 with other players online. Not sure if it's for Xbox or not, I'm more of a PS4 gal, so that's all I know. But there's different characters you can play as on Overwatch, such as Mercy, Winston, Widowmaker, Tracer, I'm already Tracer, and so much more. But the character that I'm drawing my brother as is Lucio! Oh, let's break it down! Before I get any further, I myself doesn't play Overwatch. I'm more of a gamer that loves to play more storyline type games like Kingdom Hearts, The Last of Us, just to name a couple, but I've seen a little story, I guess shorts for Overwatch that my brother has shown me because he knows that I appreciate, um, you know, that type of stuff. Um, just seeing the little shorts that they have with the different characters for Overwatch, which is actually pretty cool. But lately, I've been on those decision-based games myself, such as the Telltale's The Walking Dead, right? Rest in peace, Telltale. Um, Life is Strange. And I did my first round of finishing Detroit Become Human, which has about like 36 different endings that I was told. So I'm going to play that quite, you know, quite more and see what other endings that I can get while playing the game. I've tried Apex Legends for a bit, but then I'm currently in love with World War Z as like an online game. Honestly, I think it's the best, uh, you know, maybe I just love zombies, okay? I love I love zombies. And I'm I just wasn't really into the whole like, oh yeah, I'm going to play online with a bunch of like people or even with my friends and stuff, but World War Z is that game. I thought it was going to be Apex Legends, but no, it's World War Z. Um, but yeah, I've been playing that and it's, it's super hectic. It's just like the movie, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's awesome. I recommend it. Anyways, back to drawing my brother here. Um, I don't think I've ever done videos of me drawing portraits of actual people here on my YouTube channel. So this would be my first one. My brother came to me out of nowhere and was like, hey, do you think you'd be able to draw me? And I'm like, sure, but just tell me exactly what you want, how you want it to look, etc. I normally would have charged him um, for me to do the drawing, but my brother doesn't really ask a lot of me anyway, so I did it for free. Another reason why I decided not to charge him at all is because when he broke it down to me exactly what he wanted me to draw, you know, Lucio, he wanted me to draw him as Lucio from Overwatch um, with, you know, just changing a few colors, just a couple of color arrangements here and there. Um, I saw it as a challenge for myself. As you can see, this is, this is what Lucio looks like and he has all of that tech hardware on him, which is the part I saw as the challenge and for me to practice with. I initially was going to tell my brother, um, so I don't, well, I can't actually draw stuff like that, but I, I didn't say anything to him. And I saw it as an opportunity for myself to grow with my art and to be able to do more things. So, you know, kudos to me for challenging myself and for growing, you know, gotta grow these artistic muscles. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now, if this was just a random customer that I didn't know personally, or even if it was just a friend of mine, I would have turned it down. Why? Because I feel like there would be more pressure, and as I said, my brother doesn't really ask much from me, and he's always very precise of what he wants. And I took it step by step like I've done with my other customers that have commissioned me. I'd send him the sketch first to see if he wants something to change. Um, if it's good, then I'll do uh, just a regular simple flat coloring of the sketch so he can see um, the layout of the colors. You know where the color is going to be. And he pretty much gave the A-OK -okay and I went on from there. Ooh, get hyped! 
Although the tech was challenging, there was, you know, a couple of other things that I had trouble with. Uh, the fact that he's a guy. Um, I normally draw girls. Girls are just easier for me to draw. On my YouTube channel, there's, there's what, only one speed drawing of a guy that I've drawn. And it's a fan art of Negan from The Walking Dead. Um, you know, and I drew him as though he was a character in Harry Potter. Um, you know, if you guys want to check that video out, I'll put it in the little eye card thing that's like in the top right corner. But yeah, that drawing turned out really great. I'm proud of it. Um, but normally if I try to draw a male character fresh, fresh from my mind, they always end up with some type of baby face or very soft features and it just ends up being a female. That's just, you know, don't judge me, whatever. I still need practice. I tried drawing guys in my sketchbook, but for some reason, if I draw a guy, it happens to be an old man in my sketchbook. I don't know why. It just turns out that way. I'm, I'm still working out the, the, you know, all the mishaps and stuff in my art. <laughs> and lastly, the other thing, the second thing that was kind of tough was drawing my brother's hair he has these tiny dreadlocks and he wears them pulled back and i had to take pictures of my brother <laughs> from different angles to make sure that i get the hairstyle right um but you know despite these challenges i think this drawing took about six hours oh time to change it up i can normally do one bus portrait even i would say even like if it's kind of like the waist or almost going towards the waist it takes about two hours uh or two and a half depending on what's in the photo but i took my time on the hair and especially on the tech that lucio wears i you know he wanted the exact tech wear that lucio has which which is i guess pretty iconic lucio coming at you um for Lucio and I know that's just one of Lucio's styles he has another like another outfit that he wears in the game from what my brother has uh, shown me but he wanted the one that I've been showing you guys here in this video At first I thought I'd get bored of drawing each of the tedious details of it, but surprisingly I stuck through it. I, it took me almost the whole day, but I think I played the right music and got through this drawing because initially I thought I'd spend at least two days on on this, but once I started drawing and coloring, I, I just couldn't stop because during the process I was having fun the entire time. And it's great to have that feeling. It's great to be able to draw and enjoy it, you know, versus like, uh, you know, uh, I, I, this is getting boring or it's like this is taking forever. You know, when you start to lose your patience in your drawing, you know, it's OK. It's not it's not a bad thing. It just means you need to take a mental break. You need to you probably do need to. Um, work on the drawing tomorrow or in the next couple of days you know what whatever is easiest for you um, you just gotta remember to take those mental breaks because they are helpful and you don't want to over um, strain yourself with stuff like that mm, mm, I'm feeling some good vibrations but for me surprisingly I was like I was on a roll I was I I did this drawing I was at work you know, my second job, I was at work drawing it. And when my brother gave the okay for the sketch and the flat coloring and stuff, I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. And I was like, you know, got my music pumping and stuff. And it was all good. It was all dandy. You know, it was Gucci, my boy. When the music hits, you feel no pain. Once I finished it and showed it to my brother, he seemed really impressed too. He was like, oh wow, that looks really cool. And my brother is a man of not so many words or expressions most of the time. So when something is genuinely cool to him, I can tell.
the background I look it took me a while to figure out what to do with the background like once once the like official portrait was like done like of my brother I was like cool that looks so great it's awesome now how can I make a banging background to like fit the whole thing you know to make it look cohesive and you know continue to rock you know and I didn't want to overdo the background I wanted something like to pop and something to stand out so as you can see here you know I've been uh, fiddling with different types of stuff and then eventually I was like I ended up figuring out what I wanted just messing around with different brushes and pictures shapes and sizes and then this little brush stroke here that I have um, I like I wanted to use it but I didn't know how until I hit that like I made it black in the way that streak is and then I decided to add blue because Lucio has some blue in his tech which I wasn't able to add in my brother's drawing so thus we put it in the background and it looks top notch son but yeah here's the finished drawing you guys I hope you guys loved it because I sure do oh ho, that's what I'm talking about if you guys have a favorite overwatch character um, actually, you know what, we won't even like limit this to Overwatch. If you guys have a favorite video game you guys play, let me know in the comments below. I like to talk nerdy sometimes. So, you know, if you guys do play World War Z, please let your girl know so we can go fight some zombies together because I need to like level up my class and stuff. So, yeah, get on that World War Z. Just saying, just saying. But if you're not, just let me know what your favorite video game is down below in the comment section. Anyways, thank you all for listening. Thanks for watching. And I shall chat with you soon in the next video. Bye!